What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Sunday, May 28th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have an eight game slate today. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. So there's plenty of value on this slate. So I'm gonna pay up for you Darvish. He's got a nice pitching advantage here over the New York Yankees. Now you Darvish only giving up a .594 OPS versus righties. Pitches his best ball versus righty batters. Facing seven righties here tonight. And the Yankees have only hit three of his last 23 pitches. That's a 130 batting average. So you Darvish is 10,400 FanDuel salary. 700 less on DraftKings. Averaging 34 fantasy points per game on the season. He has an ERA of 3.67, record is 3-3, three and three, pitching an average of 94 pitches per game. Vegas thinks this is going to be a low-scoring game, 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like you, Darvish, here versus the New York Yankees. Okay, let's take a look at the first uh, catcher, first base position. I like Ryan Mountcastle. He has a 104% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Cody Bradford. Ryan Mountcastle batting a 1.068 OPS versus lefties. So he bats his best ball versus lefty pitchers, 48% better than his other pit uh, than his 40. <laughs> he bats his best ball versus lefty pitchers, 48% better then his bat to righties, I don't know why that got messed up. So Cody Croft, Cody Bradford, he pitches his worst ball by far to righty batters, 57% worse than his pitch to lefties, giving up a 1.382 OPS versus righties. Now there's no at bats versus Bradford yet, but the splits are fantastic here. Ryan Mountcastle is 3,400 FanDuel salary, 800 more on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season, and he has a batting average of 241, scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. So I like Ryan Mountcastle here versus Cody Bradford. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy? And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. So here's a value play. I like Ramon Urias with a 46% batting advantage over that same low salary pitcher, Cody Bradford. Ramon Urias batting a .704 OPS versus lefties. Cody Bradford, we know he's pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a 1.382 OPS versus righties. So Ramon Urias is only 2,700 FanDuel salary, 400 more on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. And he has a batting average of 275. So I like Ramon Urias here versus Cody Bradford. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Jake Berger. He's got a 60% batting advantage over Eduardo, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. Jake Berger batting 20% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.033 OPS versus lefties. 
Eduardo Rodriguez pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 40% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .637 OPS versus righties. And Jake Berger is one for two here versus Rodriguez. That one hit was a double. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary, 200 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season, has a batting average of 252. So I like Jake Berger here versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. I like Matt McLean. With a 5% batting advantage over Drew Smiley, Matt McLean batting 42% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.364 OPS versus lefties, now, Drew Smiley does pitch a good ball versus righty batters, only giving up a .547 OPS versus righties. And he's 3,300 FanDuel salary, 500 more on DraftKings, averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season, scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, has a batting average of 333. So I like Matt McLean here versus Drew Smiley. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. Stud on the slate that I like, Christopher Morrell in a smash spot here versus Graham Ashcraft. But if you're looking to save some salary here, uh, gave this pick yesterday and did really well. I'm gonna pick him again here today. I like Austin Hayes with a 36% batting advantage over the low salary pitcher, Cody Bradford. So it looks like we got a stack going up, a stack going here versus Cody Bradford. Austin Hayes batting a .700 OPS versus lefties. Cody Bradford, we know, giving up a 1.382 OPS versus righties. So Austin Hayes, still only 2,800 FanDuel salary and only 700 more on DraftKings. So I love that price on both sites. Averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. Scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. Has a batting average of 312. So I think he's way too cheap here tonight. So I like Austin Hayes here versus Cody Bradford. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.